Big changes are coming to the Madison City School District. Welcome back. I'm Connor Ward. And I'm Chase Gallimore. A closer look at how those changes could impact your family was outlined tonight. Our Renata D. Gregorio got the details at the community meeting at James Clemens High School. She joins us now. Renata. Chase and Connor, the district is growing at a pace it can't keep up with. To solve it, the superintendent says there will have to be new schools built and possibly rezoning. There are a lot of zeros behind the dollar signs. Over $200 million is the price tag on one option. Build a new elementary, middle and high school. Superintendent Robbie Parker says a new elementary and middle school need to be built either way or they'll run out of room in three years. Another option, instead of building a new high school, add on to two others. That'd be 100 million. We've got to have another revenue source. I think that's pretty, pretty apparent. It, whether it be a property tax, whether it be a, uh, a sales tax, whatever it may be, uh, the growth that we have right now is unsustainable. We can't keep up with it. School officials say this school year they grew by around 100 more kids than usual, and the student to teacher ratio is already one of the highest in the state. Emily Horton's son is in special education classes, and she says the class size has grown because it's a good program. Just making sure that the teacher to student ratio is not a problem. So I have three kids in the Madison City School System. The rezoning might affect us the most. Right now we're at Horizon and Discovery, and we love those schools, and I'm not trying to go anywhere else. Every single school is the same, but if we're not able to build schools, uh, really quickly, uh, we would probably have to rezone a whole lot more than we would if we did schools. Parker says the school district is one of the best and whichever route is taken, school officials and the community plan to keep it that way. Putting the Valley First, Renata Gregorio, WZDX News.